good to see you. I am, uh, uh, Did you want something, or...? I was wondering... What's wrong? Bridget and I were thinking, with everything calming down the way it has, maybe you could find a spare moment, then. You want to be married? Yes, uh, to each other. Yes, I imagined. Gunnar, to see you so happy has been a pleasure, and to marry you would be an honor. Shall I put out a call to any friends abroad? I'll be honest, Eivor. I came here with a lot of you, because nothing and no one kept me back there. The Raven Clan is all the family I need, and Bridget too. From all she said, she's better off here than with those she calls kin. Just a couple of foundlings we are. Then let's not bother with tradition. If you have your bride and your blade, we will see you wed. As Jarl, I do it gladly. About you and Bridget, when do you wish to be wed? The sooner I can make her my wife, the happier I will be. But we are fine to wait until everything has settled here. Enough waiting. Cool your forge and cover your anvil. Let's get you married. Wonderful. Shall we gather everyone? Gather your wife and your courage. I will bring the people together. I am honored to stand before you, Gunnar, Bridget, on this bountiful day. To celebrate the strength of your bond and to see you wed. I am in witness of a love that inspires and empowers. I invite you now to speak your vows. <laughs> to you, my darling Bridget, I offer this blade, forged in flames that burn as brightly as my heart does for you. A blade as sharp as your wit, as glinting as your beauty. May it sing through the air as sweetly as your voice meets my ears. Dio, see you did carry to Gunnar. Do never am locust, would be the door of heat or tea and hariat. And I, you, I give you my sword and my promise that I will stand at your side forever. Heed for the prodigy and future and heen, and the sword tawaloch in hope and premonition. And the mount of scrying a foresight para toivi a sweeping adventure meeting to. Your enoid will demarash. A dean as strong, a buratiki. A quell as he fears, but calon, and head van to reti. Such poetry, oh dear. You make me cry, my love. Let his head van have been and beyond. I offer you this ring, and take yours in kind. I will wear it with pride and honor, warmed by the love of so perfect a lady. And I whisk of a Valkalon, adoration of fee than Bith. This is the greatest day of my life. Embrace me, my love. <laughs> With our couple now bonded in matrimony, now we drink. Thank you for all you've done for me. My visions have lessened of late, and I... Well, I find it hard to explain how different I feel. Grounded. Unified. At peace. That is good to hear, Eivor. Very good to hear. What do you think about this? 
little dull in my view. I think it was nice. I like the part where they gave each other swords. It is a strange feeling, brother. Weddings are the beginning of something, but this feels like something of an end. The first happy union in our home. We have matured into something greater. So yes, a beginning and an end, I think. Richard, I gift you a formal welcome to our clan and our family. You are a fine addition to Gunnar's life and to ours. Dear Javier, I couldn't be more happy to Boma. Hope you now want to wash and it keeps me sure that he is. Yes, of course. I, uh, as I say, it is wonderful to have you. Gunnar, you old trout. You're a married man. Never thought I would see the day. Nor did I. And not for lack of trying. <coughs> How are the marriage customs in your country, Hytham? Something like this? Like this in all the most important ways. There are smiles, cheers, and warm embraces. All that is needed, I think. Alves, I'm surprised you did not serenade the bride and groom with a verse or two. Oh, I wished to, I did. But all that came to me were insults and jibes. Another time, I think. You've been among us for quite some time, Redder. Are you ready to settle? Make a home here? For a year or two, perhaps. But I am not the settling kind. I am a wanderer, always searching, never finding. Maybe one day, 